Good evening, Syracuse. I'm Maddie Sessman, and your Citrus TV Tuesday News Brief starts right now. If you are a Syracuse University student, there are tacos in your future, lots of them. In previous years, SU students would receive free Taco Bell, free tacos from Taco Bell if the basketball team scored 75 points. This season, the team only needs to hit 70 points to get taco time. Bacteria tied to Legionnaire's disease, a severe form of pneumonia, was found at St. Joseph's Hospital in Syracuse. The State Health Department found strains of the bacteria in two sinks and in one ice machine. Two patients have already been infected while in the hospital. Officials at St. Joseph's are taking measures to ensure that no other patients or staff get sick. A new report from Common Sense Media shows that teens spend an average of nine hours per day on entertainment media sites such as social media, music, and video games. For some teens, this means more time in front of screens than sleeping even. The report also showed that media tendencies varied based on age, gender, and ethnicity. And weather reports show a rare cyclone heading straight towards Yemen, which is due to hit sometime today. Cyclone Chapala will be the first major storm to hit Yemen since 1945. Yemen is projected to get 5 to 10 inches of rain and record high winds. Officials are urging citizens to stay indoors for safety. Syracuse, on the other hand, will be having lovely weather for the rest of this week. Temperatures will be in the 70s with sunny skies and will dip down the 50s for the weekend. Stay tuned for SA Today, live at 6. I'm Maddie Stessman, and have a great night, Syracuse.